Hey everybody, welcome back, Trailer Reaction Time, and today I got a trailer I'm quite excited for. Today we're here to watch trailer number one for Maxine. It's obscene because it's Maxine. Three times the terror, three times the nudity, three times the X's in the title. Sorry for that sound effect just now. <laughs> we're here to watch the sequel to Pearl and X from Ty West, the end of his X trilogy. I'm pretty sure he already has plans for a sequel to this, so it's probably not an X trilogy. I think that's just what we all thought it was. I don't know where that came from. That's what's in my head. I'm excited to see this. I got a long day, a long night of editing, taking on too much into one day. I am excited for this. When I first saw X, it was overhyped for me. I didn't love it, even though I am a fan of Ty West's work. On um, rewatching, loved it a whole lot more, especially with the context of Pearl, which I loved from the get-go, because that was such a surrealist throwback to like the films of the 50s and the 60s. Um, so I greatly appreciated that. And as the duo, I really like both those together. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what we do with part three, which is going to have that 70s, 80s porno sleaze, which is the porno era I discovered younger than I should have. But uh, if you want to see this trailer without my storytelling face in the way, there's a link in the description below. Or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and we'll geek out over together because it's going to be geek out worthy, at least for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I still love that classic adult era. And it, uh, what, I, what I've seen from stills and what I've heard, it's going to have a little bit of that vibe, but also that Ty West goodness and some more amazing Mia Goth. So without further ado, well, let's get to it. Let's watch. Oh, yeah. Andy. So... Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. They haven't even heard as John Travolta anymore. Brooke Shields and... Maxine fucking Mace. I don't like walking out here, but freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. It's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. Who we'll said I'd be bad girl in Hollywood? Maxine. I'm the private detective. I defied you. My employer is a very powerful man. The best. Ain't finished with you. There's gonna keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days, and I'd be pretty scared. How are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, you've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. What has gone on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Maxine! 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 You're a fucking movie star. Oh yeah, everything about that looks great. The only minor complaint I have, and that's not, it's not an actual complaint with the movie or the trailer, it's just because of a YouTuber bright lights in my face. Some of that was hard to see, like faces are just in shadow all the time. So I kept thinking, is that Giancarlo Espinito? Um, but uh, it is, so that's really cool. And Kevin Bacon, yeah, that's really cool. And of course the rest of the cast, Bobby Car 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 Carnavale? That guy? <laughs> Plus of course Mia Goth. Um, the atmosphere, the tone, everything about it looks fantastic and I do love and I can always forget until I'm in the moment that that is the character from X like she's still the carryover uh from that so she definitely has some personal trauma to work from it'll be interesting to see how it goes over when she shows the tape she has of police evidence which makes me wonder did the police get that evidence or not I got so many questions but also I'm just terribly excited to see it it looks great uh, of course I love she comes from the porno uh background of course it makes sense now that I'm thinking more clearly about it 
and uh, you know, trying to go legit. And I got really confused for a second when the Bates Motel showed up. Never, oh yeah, she's she's on the Universal lot. She's on a movie set. Okay, <laughs> that took that threw me for a loop for a split second though. But uh, it looks great to me. I'm definitely in. Like I said, I've come to love the other two films. The Pearl I loved right off the bat. I've come to love X, and now I'm gonna come and love Maxine. Um, eh, it fits. All right, what do you all think? Are you excited for it? Does it look good? Did you like X? Did you like Pearl? Which was your favorite? I'm a bit more partial to Pearl, um, even though I think X is a better horror film in general. But Pearl is something a little more unique, so I quite like it. Uh, let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. Can't wait to hear what you have to say. Other than that, click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. And of course, we say that together. It's a little mantra thing we can do. Put a smile on your face. A little happiness never hurt anybody. If it's your thing, let's say it. We will get through this. We will get through this together. All right, I feel better already. All right, you want to feel better, even better, better? Check out my music. Look up Eric Butts anywhere you listen. I got new stuff coming. I'm getting so excited. I'm starting to get practiced again and get ready to get back in the studio. <coughs> Start doing some demos for the Mary EP Part 2 and maybe some other things. And uh, you can go to ericbutts.com for all that funky butts fun you're looking for. And, of course, there's more with the links in the description below. Just click that See More button to see more butts. And on that note, I'm going to get on out of here so I can go watch some more stuff. And uh, I'll see you all at the movies. Later.